Hey everyone, Jonathan Allen here from Camp RV in Stratford, Ontario. Today I'm here to show you the 2017 Palomino Real Light HS1804. It's a 9 foot ultralight truck camper made by Palomino RV. Uh, it weighs just over 2,000 pounds with propane and water, and it'll work on a 6.5 or an 8 foot box. So the Palomino Real Lights come with the white exterior, it's a white fiberglass exterior, and then they have the black trim all the way around. Uh, so this one we ordered with manual jacks, but it is available with power jacks. Uh, and they, even the ones that come with the manual jacks, they are pre-wired for power jacks. So if you ever wanted to add power jacks down the road, you certainly can. It's got the large entry assist handle beside the door. It'll fold over the door during transit. You got your tail lights right on the back of the camper, and then it's got that black diamond plating. Prevents any stone chips on the back. Uh, you got the porch light beside the door, and then that little housing there, that's a pre-wiring for a backup camera. So a company called Furion makes a backup camera that you can option onto it and all the wiring is already in place and then it would come with a screen that would go wirelessly into your vehicle. So if you ever wanted to add the camera, it's all pre-wired and ready to go. Uh, this model does have a cassette toilet in it, so there is a shower and toilet inside and the toilet drains into a cassette. So that opens up, there's a magnet that will hold that door open for you and this is where you would empty your toilet. So it's got what they, some people would refer to as a honey wagon, and then you can go and dump that in any toilet, any black, uh, if they had a sewer hookup, you can dump it in there. You can pretty much dump it anywhere, so it's a little bit more versatile. You don't actually have to find a uh, black water dumping station. Slam latch baggage doors, so they just slam shut. Again, the pre-wiring for the power jacks on this side as well. Uh, the Palomino real lights do come with the frameless windows. So the window there, you can see, it's got a nice dark tint to it, uh, and cosmetically it's a nicer looking window than a framed window. So this one right beside it has a framed window, and then this is a frameless window. And then all the frameless windows, they're hinged at the top, so when you open them, they'll crank out from the bottom, and that way when it's raining out on a day like today, uh, you can leave your windows open and no water's gonna get inside your camper. On this side as well, there's outdoor speakers. Down here, this is where your sewer hookup is, that's for the grey water tank, which is for the shower. So you have an access panel there. Oh, it might be locked. Yeah, that one's locked, but you can see it here, and then you can access it through that panel. See the camper's got a nice look to it on the front. All the hookups are on the driver's side here. So it does come with the pigtail. The pigtail will plug in and then it plugs into your truck at the back and that'll supply all of your turn signals, your brake lights, your uh, running lights, basically anything supply, any of those signals coming from the truck. Also all the power hookup and everything's over here. So you've got a 30 amp detachable connection, comes with the cord. There's even a LED indicator on there so you know when you have power that lights up. Uh, you've got your water hookup, so city water connection where if they offer water, and then you've got a fresh water holding tank fill. Over here you've got your fridge vent, as well as your water heater and your furnace vent. There is a exterior charge port, so positive and negative terminal, so if you wanted to hook up your battery charger. Now when you're plugged into electricity, it'll charge the battery as well. But you've got cable and satellite hookups. Now the uh, kitchen sink doesn't drain into a holding tank, so anything that goes down your kitchen sink will come out this drain here. These are also pre-wired for a portable solar panel, so the same company that makes the, uh, the backup camera that you can get, they also make a portable panel that you can plug right in, and if you're dry camping somewhere where you don't have a power hookup, it'll keep your battery charged for you. And then it's got power hookups on the outside, as well as your outside shower, and then over here, you've got a, a uh, again, it's open, now this is what they call uh, a storage compartment if you get it with a short bed package. So we don't order it with a short bed package because that way you can put this camper on a short box or a long box. But if you order it with a short bed package, this gets enclosed. Right in here, this would all be enclosed. And then when you open that, that would be your interior storage. It can be added to a camper. Again, the only reason we don't order these campers with the short bed package is that way we can put it on either a short or a long box. Because as soon as you put your short bed package on it, it will only work on a short box. So and on this side you can see the frameless windows again, nice big window. And then the propane tank, which is a 30 pounder, and that comes filled. All of our units come with filled propane and as well as a brand new deep cycle battery. 
but we'll show you the interior now. It's got a friction hinge on the door, so your screen door can close. You've got the friction hinge. You can see there's a window in the door which does have a shade as well. Uh, but with that friction hinge, it'll hold that door in place, and that way you don't actually have extra holes in the side of the camper for a latch. But then with the screen door, it's got the built-in spring in the, in the plastic uh, sliding piece. So when you're inside the camper, you don't actually have to open that up and let all the bugs in. You can just push down and then reattach it right back to your main door. Uh, the floor, it's a one-piece linoleum, looks like tile. So it's very easy to sweep and clean and maintain. There's no seams anywhere. Uh, the dinette will drop down into an extra bed. So it makes a, it's a fairly, uh, fairly long bed. Uh, not very wide though. So, you know, if you were going to put two adults on it, it would be a little tight. Uh, the extra cushion up there on the bed will actually lay down here to complete this bed. And then there is overhead cabinets up above it. You can see it's got the built-in AM, FM, CD, and DVD stereo. Uh, and then nice big window beside the dinette with the pleated shade. Pre-wiring for a TV as well. So it'll tie into the DVD player, cable and satellite hookups. And then there is a charging center there. So there's a 12 volt plug as well as two USB chargers. And then the stereo does come with a remote as well. And again, it's got the inside and the outside speakers. Across from that is the kitchen. So the two burner stove. A microwave down below built right in. You can see you got storage cabinets. You got the sink with the sink cover. Overhead cabinets up above. Nice big window in the kitchen so it makes it nice and bright. You've got the control panel back here which all your lights, your water heater, your water pump, your tank monitor and then these are pre-wired for awnings as well so that's what these are for if you added awnings to them. Uh, that way you can just hit a button and put them in and out. And it does have storage up above that. And you can use this, it's got the hanger up there. These are just all the extra pieces, all your cords and stuff that it comes with. Uh, the fridge on this one is two-way, it's propane and electric. It does have the freezer in there as well. The queen bed at the front it is what they call an east-west bed. Uh, and it is a Serta mattress, so it is a real mattress, not just a piece of foam. And you got a window on each side of the bed. And you can see you got a little nightstand there. And there's one over on this side as well. Overhead cabinet there. And then the roof vent up above the bed with a built-in 12-volt fantastic fan. So, and then there is an extra roof vent in the middle. So I'll kind of stand back, you can see it better. So this one here doesn't have air conditioning, uh, but if you added air conditioning, that's where the AC would go. It's already pre-wired for it. You would just lose that roof vent if you added AC. And then it does have the third roof vent at the back with a built-in 12-volt fan. And that's right beside the bathroom. So as I mentioned, it's a cassette toilet, and then it does have the gray water holding tank. So you can see there's a little bit of a step up, and that's because the gray water holding tank for the shower is underneath that. And then you've got your toilet, which empties into that cassette from outside. And you can see it's what they call a wet bath, so toilet and shower all together. And then it's got the skylight up above it. All the lights are LED, so they're nice and bright and they're very energy efficient. And it's a nice, very nice camper. Uh, you know, you can put them on uh, the three quarter ton heavy duty trucks would be recommended. Uh, but uh, if you ever have questions about what truck to put it on, you can always give us a call. So again, this is the 2017 Palomino Real Light. And this is the HS 1804. We have it in stock at Camp and RV in Stratford. My name is Jonathan Allen. Thanks for watching our video. Come on in at any time and take a look at this great truck camper floor plan. We do have quite a few truck campers in stock. This is just a few of the ones that we have in our lineup here. We actually, this is only one of the lineups. We have another one at the back. Uh, so as you can see, we have quite a few in stock. We always have them on order. You can check out our available inventory on our website, which is campoutrv.com or stop in and see us at any time. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.